This is the Hatfield Marine Science Center, located in Newport, Oregon. Here, a team of researchers led by Dr. John Chapman are studying the decline of mud shrimp in the Uquina Bay mudflats. They are hoping to capture mud shrimp that have been infected with an invasive parasite. This parasite is an isopod, so it looks kind of like a roly-poly bug you find under a log. It lives inside their gill chamber and it pretty much castrates them. It stops the shrimp from reproducing. So the goal of the experiment that I'm running with my mentor now is to uh, figure out exactly why this happens. This is Dimitri. He's responsible for leading a group of high school students who are helping collect and record the data for the research. It does seem like we're studying a really specific um, small thing, but these shrimp actually have a really uh, large impact on, uh, on the economies and the landscape of this area. Um, so they're very abundant and they're very close to the base of the food chain. The mud shrimp are an important part of the estuary's ecosystem. Their burrowing behaviors have uh, enormous impacts on uh, nutrient cycling and uh, the hydrology of estuaries. The parasite has infected millions of mud shrimp from California to Alaska. The shrimp have been brought to the brink of extinction, except for here, in Newport, Oregon. After hours of working in the mud, the researchers bring the shrimp back to the lab. They wash off their gear and get ready for the lab work. The data they collect will help them understand the effects the parasites are having on the shrimp. Each day we sort through these shrimp. Right now I think we have about 450 shrimp in those tanks, which is kind of daunting when it comes down to the real meat of the experiment, which is uh, measurements. The research needs to be conducted for years in order to really understand the effects the parasites are having on the shrimp. And it's up to Dimitri and his team to make sure the research is carefully collected and correctly documented. These high school kids, once they learn how to do this, they are as critical as we are about how it's done. They are the real um, hammer of the research. They are the ones that get the data that we have to have which ones have parasites and which ones don't. And we go through the ones that do have parasites and take photos of the parasites. And we weigh everything, we measure everything. We're trying to figure out what this parasite is, how we can get rid of it, and how we can figure out what's going on with the shrimp. When you're in the lab, measuring a shrimp is very easy to think of the shrimp as just an object that you're looking at. But when you're out on the mud flat, when you feel the uh, fog coming in and when you feel the heat of the sun and when you hear the little crackling sound of the animals that live underground there and you see the tidal creeks flowing out to the bay, you're reminded of the shrimp's place in this much wider ecosystem that you value so much. This shrimp is very important. And so for humanity to preserve the world, we have to know how to manage the world. We own it. It's ours. And so all the things in it belong to us. And every one of those is a note in a symphony. And if we don't have all of the notes, we're not going to hear the symphony. 